What's happening guys in this video let us try and understand how we can convert an array list into an array. Uh, let me get started by creating a simple class AL2A. Let me call this AL2A. Now this class is going to have the main method which is PSVM public static void main. Now let me create a list of string okay and then I'll call it uh, string list equals a new array list okay now pretty much like the previous tutorial I could have done array list but I said list because that's a good design practice now let me just uh, do something like this list uh, string list dot add you can add some names Rakshit that's my name let's add with some name some random text random okay and again string list dot add this time I'm going to say text let's add another element into the list we'll call it uh, entry you know and then let's add another one I'll say point now all I want to do is I want to convert and if I just just for the sake of it let me just do s out and then say string list and then let's run this we have what oh I have to run al to a I'm sorry yeah so this is the content rakshat random text entry point so I have all these random values which are strings inside the string list which is an array list now I want to convert this into an array. How do I do that? Well, number one thing that you could do is you could say string and then array values is a new string and then specify the size of that array values. You know, this array values is going to have the same size as the string list, right? because we are just copying the elements string list dot size oops string list dot size and then we'll end it up there now what you can do is you can you can do something like array values is equal to so this is where you convert an array list into a array now the array list is string list dot then you say to array and then you specify this now you should pass in the name of the array that you've created which is array values and that's it or you can you can actually with this being done we'll do s out and say array values now we have everything in place so just to just to you know differentiate from array list and then we'll concatenate this again we'll do the same thing oops I'll say from array and concatenate this so here we have converted and for the sake of it let me just refactor this I don't like that green line showing up sometimes so yeah so here we have everything done if I try and run this we will be able to see the content from the array list and then we'll be able to see the content from the array and by the way this won't print out the value why because we have not wrapped it around in something like this arrays to string see arrays to string is the method that would print out the value of the array in text form otherwise it would print the address of the array which is not what we want so anyway if we just run this at this point you see this is coming from the array list rakshat random text entry point and this is coming from the array so that is the basic idea of how you can convert an array list into an array and 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 there is a caveat when you want to convert an integer array list into an int array which I've covered it in, in, in the previous video, which I'm going to link down in the description. Please go and check it out. 
if that is what you're uh, that is what you're looking for but anyway so this is how you can uh, convert any data type element into an array from an array list and uh, yeah that's it so the first step is you create a list and then you create an empty array uh, an empty array uh, setting the size as equal to the same size as of that in the list and then what you do is this line is very important array values is equal to string list to array and then array values and then you can print out the actual array values like this so yeah that's it if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share